Hey guys, it's Aaron here. I've been alive on the east coast of Canada for the last 16 years now. If you're watching my channel, Bob's Decline. If I get everyone to like and subscribe down below, that would be awesome. Today I wanted to talk about another one of the many hidden dangers in line work, and that's the difference in potential between neutral wires and the importance of bonding. As a journeyman lineman, you'll find yourself usually working on power lines while they are still energized, regardless of the voltage. Sometimes, however, we're lucky enough to open the line, or even the transformer. Problem is, this can easily lead to a false sense of security. It's very important that you follow your company's work methods and procedures, especially when working on lines that have been isolated, as there are many ways in which the lines may still carry a lethal amount of voltage, even though such a danger may not be apparent. My intentions today are not to give a lecture on the importance of equal potential grounding and bonding, but rather to show you a real-life example of a dangerous situation that you will eventually encounter as a lineman. So the other day I was working along, cleaning up some down triplex after a house fire, when some mutt got behind the wheel that probably should have taken a cab. I'm sure you can guess what happened next, and it wasn't pretty. Luckily nobody was hurt in this busy intersection, including the driver. Being first on scene, I performed my usual routine of keeping everyone clear of the accident, including emergency personnel, as I assess the scene for any hazards, electrically or physically. There were a few low voltage lines laying across the main road, while the impact of the crash had actually ripped the primary wires right off the pole and they remained intact high enough not to pose any immediate threat to myself or the public. After calling for backup and traffic control, I was able to confirm that power was completely out in the area. Even though the primary lines were intact, the impact had violently shook the lines and blew the fuses in all three phases. In order to prevent any further damage, first thing we did was secure a low hanging neutral wire. Now here's where I want you to pay attention. Like I said, power is completely out. All three phases are now grounded and we have a permit to work leather gloves within our protection points. Here's the problem. There are some nearby three phase lines in this area, which are fed from a separate substation a long ways away. Even though this particular line is out, the adjacent feeds nearby are likely using the neutral wire from this feed that we are working on as it cuts right through the middle of this particular grid and allows for the shortest path of any unbalanced current to return to source. So first thing we did was actually jumper out the neutral wire, thus eliminating any voltage difference between the two sides of the broken wire. I wanted to capture this example on video as a reminder to all linemen out there of the electrical hazards not only on high voltage wires, but in any and all components of the power grid. In fact, I was lucky enough to capture a perfect example of fault current through a neutral wire only a few days after this accident. While working on the customer service, we found there to be an unusual amount of current flow through a de-energized triplex loop which had just been cut from the customer's mask. It was later discovered that the unbalance from the remaining services on that particular transformer were using this particular path to ground as someone had stolen all the copper wire intended to bond through our circuit through the underground dip and back to source. I do have another video all about the dangers of copper theft to not only the public but also us linemen if you want to check that out on my channel. Well that's it for today guys, remember work safe, don't be scared to ask questions and don't be taking any shortcuts. Thanks again guys for watching one of my videos, again if I could get you to subscribe to my channel it's great motivation to keep on making these videos. I got a review coming up on these awesome drill bits by Wood Owl. I think you're going to love them. Also, if I can get you to check out a channel, a new guy on YouTube, uh, Jeremy Johnson's got a channel, uh, Lyman Universe. He's got a great personality. I think you're going to love that. And also, I got to give a shout out to Highline Utility Supplies. They, uh, I've ordered a few items from them, and I got to tell you, their customer service is great. If you have any issues at all, all you're going to do is contact them. If you want any Lyman products, tools, contact Highline Utility Surprise. Again, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time.